Unlock your potential with a comprehensive suite of investing tools and expert education with Gamma Edge. Start your free 14-day trial today. Good morning, traders. This is Michael coming to you from Gamma Edge on Tuesday, August 15th with a pre-market uh, morning strategy session. Uh, we'll be reviewing the market structure this morning. We'll be looking at the tick and then the uh, overall change in structure we're seeing for the rest of the week into the uh, monthly expiry. So we'll go ahead and jump right into it with the SPXP. We have the SPXP here with all expiries turned on via the uh, purple tiles here. Um, we notice a narrow transition here, 44.85 to 44.90. Uh, this helps with our planning for if this, then this for today. 44.70 to the downside. Uh, we notice the uh, negative net delta there and a larger total OI. Our purple shading uh, gives us an idea of where the largest OI is sitting. Uh, we are uh, in a put dominated structure still. Um, we are seeing uh, puts above and below spot price, but we do start to see some calls come in uh, yesterday um, as uh, this structure is changing above us a little bit. Uh, this was completely in the money and out of the money uh, put dominated yesterday, but we're actually seeing some call speculation erode some of the puts above us um, into, uh, into all expiries and possibly into the balance of the week. Uh, so we'll see how this structure continues. Uh, we'll see if it changes any and uh, we'll make sure you're notified. Again, 44.70 on the downside. 44.50 here, um, still uh, put dominated below us. We do see some calls coming in, uh, kind of a hodgepodge below. Um, so we'll see how that structure lays out. I'm looking for demand into that 44.70, 44.50 levels where we opened up yesterday. Uh, that was right at COTMP. We moved right up to negative GEX, which was the bottom of the transition um, in trans, and then the, the rejection uh, there. Um, and then uh, we moved into the end of the day, into that 44.90 level but we look to be gapping down this morning roughly into that 44.50 to 44.70 level pre-market. Uh, zero DTE, uh, I want you to notice that we are call dominated here above and below spot price. Uh, decent expiry today with via this total OI, so we'll see how this plays out today. Again, 44.70 on the downside will probably be an important level. Uh, 44.50, we'll note that. Uh, again, um, in the money uh, calls below us will be supportive uh, unless uh, this expiry um, comes off and we see those mechanically closing. And we do have some out of the money call speculation above spot price, which would lead us a little bit more to the bullish case. Uh, staying above uh, positive transition or moving through uh, transition, 44.80 to 44.85, very narrow, which is what we like to see. Uh, good structure, uh, moving above that and staying above that and then targeting uh, 4,500, 45.10, 45.15 above us. We should see some stalling around this 45.25 if we made it up to that level. Uh, you see those uh, in the money puts come in uh, above us here. Um, so we'll see how that uh, speculation um, plays out uh, via the calls above and below spot price and the expiry for today. Encourage everyone to watch the vol U vol D command today to look for targeting, uh, especially on the early uh, morning runs there, the first few after the open. Uh, hopefully we'll get an idea of the goalpost for the day and we'll be able to set up a trading plan around that. Uh, plus one DTE, this gives us just a better understanding of what the outlook might look like for tomorrow. Again, monthly expiry on Friday. Uh, put dominated still, um, we see the puts below us here, but we do see some call speculation coming in for to tomorrow um, via these uh, out of the money calls up here above us. 4,500, 4,525, and 4,560. Keep in mind that is tomorrow's expiry. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, again, uh, puts below us and see, starting to see some erosion of the puts above us and some calls come in here. So uh, total OI, uh, 200,000, so a decent amount there. Uh, so we'll see how this changes throughout the day, uh, kind of give us our crystal ball into tomorrow uh, via speculation of uh, calls or puts. Uh, here's the uh, SPX uh, combo complex, all expiries turned on, again, put dominated, but we still see these in the money calls below us. This is the bullish stance here, or our bullish stand uh, that we want to continue to see. We do not want to see erosion uh, below this. Again, we see the 4,500 come in. These are out of the money uh, speculative calls, 4,525. Uh, we'll look at the landscape view in just a minute, but we still have call speculation above us, uh, which is still a little bit, uh, uh, it's still in a bullish uh, case, even though we're put dominated. So unless we see a total erosion of these in the money calls below spot price, I would continue to look for support down into these levels. Uh, the tick uh, needs to uh, have a sentiment change and start looking uh, a little bit better in the overall structure on tick. We'd like to see the new highs start outpacing new lows and move back to the upside. Uh, we'll review that in a few minutes. But again, any move down to 44.50, I'd be looking at as a demand level. 
below 4450, then obviously we have a target down here at 4525 and 4400. But 4450 continues on a TA and a gamma overall net delta standpoint, continues to be a supply or sorry, demand level that we continue to see supported uh, by buyers on any gap down. So really for me, that's gonna be the line in the sand. Below that, I would anticipate more weakness down to 4425 and 4400, but we continue to hold this and the uh, in the money calls continue to stand strong uh, via this uh, all expiries on the uh, SPX combo complex. Uh, balance of the week on the SPX, uh, still put dominated, uh, but we do see the calls below us. Uh, those are in the money calls, uh, providing us demand levels and support. And we start to see some erosion of the puts here and calls come in. We wanna see these uh, puts continue to be eroded away. And you'd like to see speculation of out of the money calls uh, into Friday for having a bullish thesis for a move up. But this structure looks a little bit better than it did um, previously. Uh, so we'll continue to monitor this and see uh, how this structure will continue to play out. Again, 4450 on the downside, I'd be looking for uh, demand action, supportive type action into that level. And then 4470, a uh, pretty important level there as we see with the uh, negative net delta and the uh, total OI. Again, purple highlighted, highest OI here and highest OI here. So that uh, should draw your attention pretty quickly to mark on your charts as those are important levels as we move throughout the rest of the week. Uh, here's the uh, landscape view. Again, I've expanded it out a little uh, slightly with the left click interactive chart here. Plus, GEX is maintained here at 4,600. And we still see the call speculation out here, uh, 4,700 uh, on out to 4,800 and still the 5,000 here uh, above us. Uh, so down to the downside, we see 4,400 is net GEX. And then we see these uh, puts below us start to fill in opportunistic uh, possible short term pullback um, plays. So those will hopefully be supportive as we move back uh, down in uh, price if we do. Again, transition very well defined here. If this, then this, as we've said, narrow transition, we need to stay above transition and look for the call speculators to stay in force and start to expanding back to the upside. Uh, here's a SPY, all expiries turned on a little bit wider transition, but we continue to see that 445, as we saw yesterday, be a supportive action uh, down uh, to these levels right here. Uh, notice the net delta, uh, extremely large here, and the net GEX, and then obviously the total OI. 445 has 600,000 600, contracts sitting there for all expiries. So very important level, and then 440 to the downside, another 600,000 contracts. So any move back down to the downside, 440 would be aligned the same to the bottom, 445 here. And then obviously want to see the 450 being targeted and the call speculators are still being maintained on all expiries at 455 and 460, pretty important there. Uh, zero DTE, uh, narrow transition again, just like uh, we saw in the SPX. So again, 445, we see that trail off significantly down below 443 uh, in the money calls below us, supportive action here. So we'll see how that plays out to, into this week. Um, plus one DTE, same kind of story. And then through the balance of the week, same transition really that we saw on all expiries. So 445 will be extremely important, 440 to the downside. Balance of the week, we see the in the money calls here all the way down to 435, uh, supportive type action and landscape view for SPY. We'll go ahead and flip over and look at TIC. And uh, I know we've had some questions about this. So TIC still continues on a bearish stance. This is all market model turned off. This is CT turned off. If we reference yesterday's, uh, sorry, the 14th close, we did not finish above that close. We did not finish above the high of the day. So no trigger here. Moving averages are still in negative slope, expanded to the downside. First action that we would want to see is the short-term CT start to move above the moving averages and start to expand back to the upside. Again, we are living below the uh, colored ribbon, which is a market model off stance. This is negative uh, slope. Red is starting to look to cross below the cyan. It may not get there, but again, this is a risk off type of stance if you're a long-term market model trader. Short-term trader, you should be looking at this uh, short-term CT, bolded white line. You wanna see it start to close above the previous highs. We have not even closed above the previous highs or the previous day close. So this is still a risk off stance. Even with the move in the afternoon yesterday, um, I had noted in the room that the uh, tick was still not looking great. Um, new highs are still outpacing new lows. Um, the uh, filter tick was still moving down as we'll show in the tick US. So this was still a bearish risk off stance. So until this changes, I encourage everyone to uh, shorten your time frame on the long side and then continue with our ETFs to the downside if you are playing that uh, plan. Uh, tick US here of note, 
filter tick plus 1000 minus 1000 institutional transactions still below the zero line again we do not see a huge move down but again tick us we try to get above the first moving average here could not close above the previous day close could not close above the high of the day and we've had a market model turn off here with the red below the cyan so again bear stance continues we're living below the ct this will continue this red will continue down uh, and expand below the cyan if the short-term ct start continues to live below the uh, colored ribbon uh, tick cumulative could not even get above the zero line yesterday so again this is risk off risk off uh, new uh, lows outpacing new highs risk off so if you systematically went down uh, and you kind of did a you know one two three four checklist uh, this first here new high new lows outpacing new highs this would be a no uh, filter tick below the zero line this would be a no cumulative tick below the zero line could not recover this is a no red below cyan this is a no and then the short term ct is a no so you have five no's basically if you did a systematic systematic uh, checklist uh, so there was no reason to be long at the close today no reason to be long yesterday uh, except for intraday plays on zero dt uh, via expiry so hope that helps uh, we'll see you in the discord here in just a few minutes again we'll be watching uh, the levels i pointed out this morning 4450 COTMP and uh, 4444 there will be extremely important at the open as we saw that uh, hold yesterday we'll see how that acts again negative trans narrow transition 4485 zero gex 4500 we need to start uh, price to get above that and start living above that to have any chance to start to move back to the upside so we'll uh, look through some liquidity stocks real quick as we get back to the discord um, and then uh, we'll be discussing our P trans to a PGEX portfolio Hope that helps. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you in the Discord. If you need anything, make sure you tag the uh, at admin in the Discord or post in hashtag questions and we'll answer you as soon as possible. Thanks.